Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I have a few things to share with you that I've created in the last two weeks, plus a stencil. And then I have four challenge journals that I'm going to quickly share at the end of this. So I do have a brand new Tim Holtz stencil. This is the Honeycomb Layering Stencil. Um, I was looking through my stencils and I have this one brand new and I haven't taken out of the package. And I also have another one. So I figured one of you might want it. So this is in Lindsay's Supplies. And then I have two items I've created. This is a journal cover, collaged journal cover set. There are two nine by sixes, two, I think it's either five by seven or five by eight, five by sevens, and then one three by five. They are cardstock base. This gorgeous, it makes me think of gold. It's not shiny, but it's like a golden color and it has all these flecks in it. And I think I got this from Tuesday morning. Either that or someone gave it to me. I don't remember, but um, I had several of these. They're beautiful. And then I have collaged all different beautiful papers. There's wallpapers and scrapbook papers and digitals and all sorts of things. So there's that one. And this one are the six by nines. So they're ready for you to just uh, add your touches and turn into covers. And then here's the five by sevens. I love that butterfly. That's a my porch prints butterfly. Gorgeous collage there, as well as here. We have a Mrs. Cog's uh, gypsy print there. Lots of gorgeous flowers. And then a little one that says, write your own story. So you get the whole set and this gorgeous iridescent pink ribbon. Of course, you can use that as a journal closure or in a tassel or something like that. So that is a set of collaged journal covers. And then I started a new project. Um, whether I ever finish the entire thing or not, we shall see. But I decided to take one of my ephemera packs and I chose Full of Grace. I will actually link that ephemera pack below so you can click right on it and purchase it printed or digitally. I will have both links there. And they are um, vintage images that I thought were very graceful, very beautiful. This is one of them. So I want to do a single signature journal for each image in that kit. <clears throat> so the image would be the main focal point on the cover, and then inside I would just decorate as I saw fit. So I chose this pink grungy cardstock for the journal base, and then I have um, some scrapbook paper, some fabric, the image that's stitched around, a chipboard banner, and then a button with some embroidery floss. And then this is all inked around with, I believe I used, oh no, oh no. I was gonna say I used walnut stain from Tim Holtz, but I think this is just the basic brown one from Stamp Abilities. And then inside the end paper here is from a book actually, it actually is a book end paper on the front and back. And then it's reinforced down the middle with this gorgeous wallpaper with the flowers and butterflies. Then I've added happy mail pieces throughout here. Here's a happy mail tag. This was from a card that somebody painted and sent me. And then I added a little My Porch Prints there. This is on watercolor paper. And then for the pages, I've used my Armitage flowers. And um, you know, if I can, I'm gonna, if you'll let me, I will take a little note here of what I need to link so that you can find them easier. I'm just writing off to the side here, Armitage flowers. That way I know you can link the, the specific ones if I used a lot of them. This is a little Dollar Tree butterfly. And then these papers I got on Etsy. I linked these in my Facebook group the other day. They were like pastel lined papers. And then I've layered some stencils using a Tim Holtz stencil and then just, I don't know, a generic triangle stencil. Some embroidery thread and a wallpaper flower. I've made a big pocket here. On a book page, this is a fabric butterfly, vintage book pages, clusters. This is the Bible language of flowers. I will link that as well. Um, Lonnie and I made this set together. So a uh, percentage of this kit does go to Lonnie when you buy it digitally. So if you want to help support another artist as well, part of it goes to me, part of it goes to her. We This is a page I created, but um, some of the ones 
she did and she made some journal cards and so that's beautiful this was from a vintage book, The Bible Language of Flowers, that Lonnie found, and we worked on this together using elements from Graphics Fairy and Pixel Scrapper. And um, I just, I love how it has the Bible verses on it and how pretty it looks with everything. I wanted to play around with just adding some sequins and stenciling. This is the Armitage Flowers again. This is a cardstock with a piece of fabric glued and stitched on it. For the paper clips, I only clipped in a few things in this journal, but I ripped some of this dusty mauve lace to kind of have it sticking out the top. So I did that. The coffee dyed paper is from Above Par Crafts. She sells through my shop and she has a couple things for sale right now in the supply section, but I will be adding more in the next couple weeks. So be on the lookout for that. Joanne made me this. She's my business partner and she has sections in my shop as well. More Armitage flowers. Um, more coffee dyed paper from above par. This is more of the Bible language of flowers. And then I have a gorgeous book page, some lace, butterfly button. I've done little um, hearts down the side here. This is from a shorthand book I got in some happy mail. I love how some of the text is in purple, which is why I chose it for this. I added this journal card here. It's Isaiah 43 2. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. This is from my modern maiden, not modern maiden. This is from Faith Image Club. You can purchase that in the clubs and collections section. I'm going to link that exactly too. I have gotten so many things on my shop. It's hard to find things. So I'm going to give you direct links. I'm going to try to do that a little more often, especially if I create a journal. Um, I might not always be able to get to it but I will try. So they are all faith-based and they're just beautiful to pop in, add a little bit into a journal. This was from a vintage uh, dust jacket from a flower book, it's like a cross stitch page, Bible language of flowers. And then Lonnie sent me this trim and I thought it would be really pretty to just hang down over this writing paper and you could write over here. Uh, coffee dyed music paper from above par, more Bible language of flowers more from above par. That's a piece of wallpaper that I just glued on there. And this is from wallpaper too. You know, you can fussy cut images out of wallpaper. I think that's fun and I like, like doing that occasionally. And then I've just done some stamping. This was like a foam stamp. This is bound together with embroidery floss, a gray embroidery floss, just with a simple pamphlet stitch. Have a pretty piece of scrapbook paper and I've done um, zigzag stitching and that's glued on there so you can do secret journaling or hide a photo down there and then added one of these from one of these little word things from my porch prints. This again is cut from wallpaper and I added it on here. Bible language of flowers and then it should just be the other side of everything. So I have a butterfly stamp and I've added some white uh, rhinestones. And then the second half is going to look very similar to the front half. I have a pretty stamp that I did a little bit of brush markering, markering, is that a word, on my Porch Prince Butterfly, scrapbook paper, Bible language of flowers. Joanne made that, clipped that in there as well. I have a little wallpaper ticket and then a little fussy cut flower. Some of my favorite stamps. These are from Stampin' Up. I got them at a yard sale. Got a button there in the middle of the splash. My Porch Prince Butterfly. More butterflies. This was just, I love the patina of this book page and I have done some stenciling on this side, but there's not much you can do on it. So for this side, I put a piece of scrapbook paper and then a little bit of cardstock. So you could you know, make a little note there. I think Joanne made this. If not, it was someone else from Happy Mail. Just added that little heart there at the top and I have signed the back. So this is Full of Grace number one. I've already chosen the cover for Full of Grace number two and I cannot wait to share that with you. But I do have a few more journals to share and these are challenge journals for from the September challenge which was Tea Party. So you can hang a tassel on there if you like. Oh, I love that little teapot stamping. It says tea for two and journal. Got a sorry silk closure. This is from Linda Reyes and she has used 
Yellow Roses, Terrific Times, English Tea, and then Vintage Image Club. I'm not going to link all of these um, because I actually have them linked on my Facebook group. If you go to the announcement sections and then to September Challenge, you can click on any of these. So we have the Yellow Roses. Linda always makes such beautiful journals. She puts so much thought and care into them. They always look so gorgeous gorgeous stenciling. She chooses her papers so beautifully. And then we have, this is Joanne's English tea. Look at all the little tags that pull out of these pockets. English summer tea time, that's from Joanne's. So if you like to collect things to do tea theme journals, or if you just like adding little bits of tea party into whatever vintage journal you're working on, all of those digitals would be a great option. These might be from Antique Papery. I'm not sure. She put a list in the front. Oh, look at this page. How pretty is that? It's all inked up. Oh, she cut out from uh, Terrific Times, the little bird. That is adorable. What a pretty, pretty journal. I know somebody is going to scarf this up. These are the vintage extracts and spice cards from Vintage Image Club. I added some more collections to that just today. So pretty what she's done. You can print them bigger too. So this one is for Thyme, Sage, and Marjoram, or Majorum, however you pronounce that. Little belly bands with ephemera and a gorgeous pocket in the back. So this is for sale in the Marketplace journals. My journal that I just showed you will be in Lindsay's Handmade. If it doesn't sell there in a few days, I will also add it to Marketplace journals so you can find it. How cute. I'm guessing this is from Linda too. They're the same little teacups. And then this kitten is from Terrific Times. Look at how pretty that back is. So pretty. Again, we have a sorry silk closure in a cream color that I love. If I can get it open. I never pulled the right side. There we go. This is tea time one. I think that was tea time two. My boys are loud in the background. It is Columbus Day, a day off, and they are enjoying themselves. So I know some of you have said you've missed hearing them in the background. I'm actually filming this on Columbus Day, which is Monday, but it will not be uploaded until Tuesday because I'm filming ahead of day just to kind of help me get caught up in some things. So pretty. I love her color scheme and the places she has so you can just write. She's put everything together so well. Added doilies. Love how she made that tag from Yellow Roses. I'm not showing every page, but I'm giving you a good just I love that. So I make my pockets so small. I love when they're big like that. Got a whole bunch of tags here in this triple pocket beauty. And so this one here is, oh, that's the same one. Okay. Time, Sage, and Marjoram. We have two more journals we're going to peek at before we close this video for today. There's this one. Fun spine. Little teacup. All right. So this has a double closure. Super cute. Very unique. And this is by, I don't know, Leah Wilkins. Oh, good. I have been looking for, hopefully she gave me, been looking for her PayPal. So Leah, if you are watching this, can you message me your PayPal, please? I, I'm having a hard time finding it. You might have sent it to me. I might have overlooked it. But I need your PayPal so that I can pay you from last month for last month's journals. What a cute little journal. So very tea themed. A little shabby chic. I like that. Look at all the edges that are all punched out differently. A little bit of sari silk. This is perfect for writing in or for glue book, right? You got lots of pretty backgrounds to start with and you could glue in your favorites. Very pretty. You have some papers clipped on there really pretty paper clip. I love how she did that binding enclosure. And it lays open so well. I would think there would be problems with it, but she did it so perfectly. You got a double closure, which looks super pretty on like a table or a bookshelf. And then the last journal we'll be looking at today 
is this pretty one. And we got to take a closer look at the spine because look at that. I love how the buttons are all up on each other. You can add a tassel to this one as well. And this is from Deb Farrell. Deb Farrell. Using the Terrific Times. So cute. Look at the ripped edges that are pink. Lots of little like collaged journal cards, bookmarks, super adorable, fun, these collaged up, this one has spoons, oh it's clipped in there with a tiny clip, that's so cute, yellow roses, terrific times, brightly inked florals, That is really smart what she did here with this blank white paper. So blank white pages are not allowed in challenge journals, but what she's done is ripped it and then inked them pink on both sides. Really gives that extra touch so that you still have the bright white, but it's within the challenge rules. So I think that's brilliant. So pretty. This is all reinforced with fabric. Very nice. Thank you so much, Deb and the other artists that we have looked at today. So exciting times, beautiful things in the shop. I can't wait to see you again uh, tomorrow for more journals, more goodies. Actually, we'll probably have goodies. Um, I have Barb and Vicky that I need to share their goodies and maybe one or two others. I still have a package of boxes. I was out of town and a whole bunch going on with my family. I'm getting back into stuff and trying to get all that shown. So we'll see. Who knows? It'll be a surprise what the next video is.